So Ron, what are, what are some of the pitfalls organizations fall into when it relates to these projects? So there, there's probably several common ones that uh, we encounter. And as Mark mentioned earlier, a, a lot of these projects or engagements that we get involved in, um, a given organization or a customer has already at least attempted this particular project once, you know, maybe two or three times. And one of the common threads is right off the bat, where when you think of planning an organization around the project, um, there's consistently a lack of clear organization, mostly around the scope of the project, just having that scope clearly defined, communicated, and understood. Um, and kind of this, the second component of that is you get your scope and objectives. And, you know, the, the other components of that are, you know, we just kind of call them the big three. You get cost, quality, and schedule. They, they all work together. If you have to compress your schedule or your timeline, something's going to suffer. Is that going to be your costs are going to go up or your quality is going to go down? there's a direct link between those. And you can kind of start seeing where this is going is if you don't have that planning and organization and scheduling up front, then you kind of run into resources um, as they complete tasks. Are they completing tasks according to the schedule? Are they just completing tasks because they know they need to get done? Are they completing tasks because they just believe they need to get done? So in, in a lot of cases, you come across projects where um, the low priority items are done or the low priority items are getting addressed, but really the things that are supposed to be thought about and or uh, completed or those things that really need the significant amount of time, they're sitting on a back burner sometime, somewhere because they're the complicated ones. Um, the, the other component that we run across or the other pitfall that, that is common is, um, you know, if, if you talk about individuals, effort and communication, if you are not communicating clearly to those critical team members, you know, they may be focused on one of their specific items and they lose sight of what's the team goal or what's the overall project. Um, lastly, if you can recall kind of those three things that we just talked through, what is the end result? You have a project that is behind, likely in jeopardy, um, depending on exposure, um, could be getting a lot of um, negativity surrounding that particular project. That leads to highly frustrated team members. You're going to get potential finger pointing across different departments or organizations. And um, one of Mark's favorite acronyms, which is FUD, you basically get fear uncertainty and doubts. And that basically ties back to, at that point, you have a project that's failure or that's failing. And a lot of times that's when Centercom is, is brought in. 